what's poppin party people it's your girl jaydog welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome my name is jaylen you can just call me jaydog so for today's video we have a full face of new makeup i'm super pumped i got some new foundation the other day and i was on the lookout for this foundation i i don't know exactly what's going on it was on a super sale it was like a dollar it was like a dollar and like 20 cents it's by the brand collab and I was specifically looking for this the first time because I just did a full face of makeup probably like two weeks ago, maybe three. I don't know. And it was also collab, but they had um, the only foundation they had at the Sally's I went to was matte. And I am not like a matte fan, but I was like, this is the only one they have. Like, I'm gonna try it out. And I loved it. I actually ended up loving it. Um, I've worn it probably every time that I've worn makeup since then. I don't know, I'm pretty obsessed with it, but the only thing is like the whole matte movement. I'm not a super fan. So I was like, I'm gonna check a different Sally's and maybe they have more options. Cause I mean, they have to have a glowy foundation. They did, they did indeed. So this one's the Bright Spark Radiant Foundation. So I specifically had to do this video for this foundation cause I have to try it out. But anyway, instead of rambling on about the foundation that we're about to talk about in just a second, Let's just get right into this video because I'm super pumped to try out all these new goodies. I also got a new, uh, what is it? Mascara. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, so let's just get right into this video. Okay, so for primer, I have the Putty Primer, the Poreless Putty Primer by e.l.f. And I, this is, I hear that this is a really great primer. Everyone was comparing this to Tatcha, which is a really expensive brand. A little too expensive i mean nobody got time for that 52 dollars i think it's for for the primer 52 dollars not happening no can't do it oh my god so yeah i hear that it's like an exact dupe for it so i haven't tried it out because there's no way <laughs> there's no way i'm spending 52 dollars on a primer right am i right that's ridiculous. I never even used to wear primer. So I, I think it'll be fine. My favorite primer is by Hard Candy and it was like $5. I would much rather go back and spend $5 to get this. Get a good primer instead of $52 for a good primer. That's mm, not good. Okay, well this feels nice. It's a poreless primer, so it's supposed to fill in like your pores. I don't feel like I have like humongous pores. I mean, maybe a little bit. I mean, maybe a little, ooh. I have um, Elf's, it's a primer that looks exactly like that, but it's, it's like, I think it's a, like a luminous one. Um, and I love to glow as you guys know. But I didn't, I don't know, I wasn't like a super fan of it. I mean, it, I mean, I don't know, I don't know. I need to use it a couple more times, I feel like. But I just love my hard candy one so much that I don't really like <laughs> use other ones. Especially for like my daily makeup, if I'm not wearing a bit or making a video or something, I'm definitely using my hard candy. Okay, okay, okay. I feel like it looks good and it kind of does look a little glowy too. I like that. I like that. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait. I was about to do my foundation, but I actually am going to do my eyes today. Around. I think I did it in my last full face too, but I just have not been into doing my eyeshadow. But this is the palette I'm going to use. It's um, Makeup Revolution London. And I got it from Marshalls. I got it for my first Marshalls haul when Marshalls opened back up after like the whole coronavirus stuff which is, I think it's probably gonna end up closing back down, but I'm not sure. But anyway, I went after like the, I think I went like the third week that they opened and I found this bad boy and she was on major sale. She was 350. I know. So I think we're gonna go with an easygoing look. <laughs> I say that every time, but we're definitely going with the easygoing look. I think, I think I'm gonna go in with this. I just noticed that these are all mattes. really all mattes hmm let's see okay well i think i'm gonna go in with this color like kind of like in my crease this is kind of a big brush to use for that but it's too late to change my mind 
So we're gonna go in, I guess, ham with this one. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna grab a smaller brush and just blend it out. Okay, I think I'm gonna go in with like like a lighter brown or I think this one. Oh my gosh. I didn't know. Ooh. I didn't know it was gonna be that dark. Okay. Oh look. Cool. So how have you guys been? <laughs> I feel like this is the perfect time to chat really quick. Okay, this actually don't look bad at all. Um, but yeah, how have you guys been? I've been doing pretty good. I've been not joking around about my YouTube channel lately. I have... A little more on there. I have videos all the way up until the last week of August planned. Today is July. Oh, I don't know when I'm posting this. Well, today is July 30, 30th, 29th, 30th. I think it's the 30th. My phone's right here. I was trying to check. So this is a little prepping situation. So this video won't be up until August sometime, but I've been prepping and I've been doing so good. My new schedule is Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, just in case you want to know. I was trying to do, just trying to get as much content as I can out, get as many people to see my videos as possible and I was posting like almost every day and I just don't think that that's the best way to do it just because that's too much content that is too much content going out I think I'm gonna go back in with this brush and kind of blend them together a little but yeah I feel like that's just too much content a lot of the people that were regulars haven't been um on my channel as much and that's totally okay like you're allowed to have a life you're allowed to go do other things you don't have to watch every single video um but i just feel like i'm doing too much like i feel like i'm putting out too much content so monday wednesdays and fridays are the days so i'm pretty pumped about this new schedule but if you guys have any video ideas anything you want to see from me if it's makeup or challenges with my brother with my best friends, with my fiance, comment below, or even Ed, if you want some challenges from Ed, you should comment below. I think Ed would be pretty interesting. <laughs> I feel like that guy's definitely interesting. So I feel like that'd be fun. But yeah, just comment below what you guys would like to see. Like I said, I have a lot of August already planned out from having pre prepped videos but i could i could definitely change some stuff up so just comment below on what you're thinking Ooh, i actually like this i feel like i spent 350 on this palette i feel like that's worth it and i feel ooh, oh, oh, i feel like this looks so cute okay i think i think i hope i'm not gonna fuck it up but i'm gonna go back in with this like purplish reddish color right where the two colors like met just to put a little bit more like little salsa in there okay 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 all right oh my god boom i love that palette oh my god maybe i'll start using eyeshadow again a little bit more i mean i have so many eyeshadow palettes i really should Okay, next we're gonna do lashes. Just because I don't wanna look dead anymore. Because I feel like with like other makeup on, no lash movement, you look scary dead. Okay, so for my lashes, I got a new mascara. 
um, and it's by Thrive Cosmetics. And I'm so pumped. I've been really, I've been really wanting to try out this mascara. I've been seeing really, really good things on um, on YouTube and on Instagram. Like I feel like this brand for a long time was going crazy on Instagram, and it's it's supposed to give like an effect that you have. What are they called? Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. It's supposed to give the effect that you have lash extensions. So I feel like I have pretty long lashes. So I'm I'm pumped to see what this bad boy what this bad boy does. I, I don't know how much she was. I think it was I think it was around the price of what like more expensive um brands are. So like better than sex, I think it's twenty four dollars or twenty one, something around there. So I think this is around like all of those prices. I'm not sure, should I look it up? My phone is right there. I keep forgetting. All right, I'll just have the prices in the little corner over here. Yeah, we'll do that. All right, let's try it out. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Ooh, don't look at my nails. They look stupid. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, I'm so excited. Okay, get it together. Okay, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, wow. Okay, looking at this side compared to this side. How does that even happen? Like how? How does this work? How does it make your lashes look so much longer than they are? I'm confused. I like it. It's nice. I feel like it definitely makes your lashes look a lot longer than they are. I like the brush. I actually usually use like really thick brushes except for the um, Benefit Roller Lash, I think. That one has kind of like a wand like this and then I use um better than sex over the top I feel like this is like both of them put together I really really like it it pulls out like the perfect amount on your wand like it's not overdoing it like I feel like a lot of the time better than sex kind of, when the when you pull the wand out like it pulls so much out and then your lashes tend to look like a little bit clumpy and we don't want that we don't want that so I think you can definitely tell the difference. Mmm. Oh, okay. Okay. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna do the other side real quick. I like it. I'm so excited that I got it. Okay, moving on. Oh, uh, foundation. What's this? Oh my god, oh my god. I'm so excited to try this out. And I was a little bit worried because I felt like it was so light. But I, I think I have mentioned this before, but my, um, my skin tone, I feel like I do this every single time where I get to the store and I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit darker. I feel like I'm darker than I really am. So I always get like a shade or two too dark and then it comes back and I look orange and I just look like a full on mess. So Zach has been helping me choose. I went the other day, he was in the car um, I had to take back some Ross pants that I was really upset about, but I had to take it back. Why am I putting this down? I had to take them back, and so Sally's was right next door, and I've been wanting to glow. I've been wanting this specifically. So I went over, Zach waited in the car, and so I sent him a picture because he always picks the best one. I sent him a picture, and he was like, so he got out of the car and came inside. I was like, you're coming inside to help me? He's like, yeah, let me see, and help me pick. <laughs> Cute. So this one is, I don't know if I mentioned it in the last video, but I think it was 3.5 for the matte. And this one is just a three and it's called sand for this one. So yeah, I learned to pick a shade under what you, what would you actually think it is? Okay. I'm pretty sure it's going to fit like perfect. And it smells kind of good too. It smells pretty good. Like, 
like if i feel like it almost looks like it's not there that it matches so good like at first when you're blending it out it looks a little bit off but i think it matches right Hmm, maybe it is a little too light. I don't know if that is the case though. I have so many dark, so many dark ones because I thought I was so much darker than I am. I could mix it in. I don't know, it looks kind of perfect. I can't, I don't know. It looks pretty good, right? But yeah, it's got a pretty interesting smell. Like I said, it was $1.50. I wasn't sure what was going on when I seen that it was $1.50. And I was like, $1.50? And she was like, yeah, I think they're going, they're discontinued or they're something. She said something and I was like, what? What did you just say to me? And for what reason? So I don't really know if she knew what she was talking about or well, what? Why else would it be a dollar fifty though? Like I don't get it. Like why would why would you guys discontinue it? Why? Why would you do that? I don't really understand because I'm confused. I went and looked online and I'm pretty sure I remember seeing them. So maybe they're just being discontinued at Sally's. They're not gonna sell them anymore. Maybe they're not selling collab. I don't know what. I don't know what happened. But they better not discontinue this. That's all I know. I mean, maybe it's not, maybe it's not good. I don't know. I mean, it looks pretty good. Like, it kind of looks like, for some reason, I kind of have like a matte feel right now. I don't feel as glowy. Maybe a little. I don't know, you guys. I'm stressing out. Okay. okay um hmm so maybe it is like a shade too light this is the darkest they had that was going to be close to my shade otherwise it skipped two shades and then was like the next one that they actually had in stock so maybe i don't know i don't know the sally's the first sally's that i went to they had like they had a lot of stuff just not a lot of foundation so i don't know if they're just not restocking at sally's anymore i don't know i always felt like sally's was more of like a drugstore movement and the price of collab doesn't feel like a drugstore movement to me um, i mean the dollar 50 i like that but the the original price was 16.49 like they didn't have a sign that said it was a dollar 50. i just got up to the counter she said it was a dollar 50 so i don't know I don't know what's going on so maybe they're just like no one's really buying the stuff because it's too expensive they come to Sally's looking for like drugstore cheaper makeup and then they see this stuff so it's just not selling at Sally's maybe maybe that's the case okay oh this sponge is also new I got it from elf I think I got it um oh right here right here okay yeah I got it from Target it's a blending sponge best for liquids yeah, e.l.f. sponges are just so perfect and I feel like so cheap. I feel like e.l.f.'s brand is really coming up. Look how glowy this is. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you, baby. The foundation looks good. Thank you, doesn't it? Yeah. It's the collab one. Yeah, it looks good. I like it. It's really glowy. Yeah. I feel like maybe on that one you could maybe go like a half a shade darker. So I wish I could have found that like two and a half. Yeah, this one's a three. A, oh, it's a three? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you need like a three and a half. Yeah, that's what the other one is. is the, it? the matte one. It's three and a half. Three and a half is yeah. what you need. Mm -hmm. I thought so too, but... It, it looks good though. Yeah. It is so hot. I have a sweater on, but it's because I'm wearing like a little tank top and I don't, don't want to just wear this tank top.
top. I'm not gonna change, that's extra. It's so hot though. Oh, I don't think I have any bronzer. Oh, wait a minute. I do have this. Okay, so I have for bronzer. I thought I didn't have anything, but I kind of don't, but I kind of do at the same time. So I got this, I think Ace Beauty. Yeah, it, Ace Beauty Bronze and Paradise palette and my BoxyCharm. I'll have the link down below if you guys want to check out my BoxyCharm. It was my July box that I got this out of. Um, I've used this one time. I used this color right here and I felt like it was perfect. So I'm going to use it again today. I only used it one time though and you guys didn't see me use it. It wasn't in a video. So I feel like you guys should know what we're working with here. I seen a technique on YouTube. I watched a video probably like probably like a month ago or something. But anyway, I seen this video where it was like a whole different way on of applying it to make your face look like like more like this instead of round. I thought it was pretty cool because you girl gained like a little bit of weight. So um I would love to learn some techniques to not look as fat. <laughs> I mean, I don't think that I am extremely overweight or anything like that. It's just I'm bigger than I've ever been before. So it's just like different to see. But I don't think I'm like unhealthy or anything like that. I don't know. My mom has called not once, but twice to ask if I was pregnant. No, mom, I'm not just getting a little chubby. Okay. She's like, are you sure? <laughs> Yes, girl. So her method was to not bring it down as far, which I actually did right here a little bit. So not bring it down as far. And then for your blush, you kind of put your blush in like the same spot as this. Instead of starting right here, you kind of start in the middle and just like for your blush, not for your bronzer. So you put your blush basically in the same exact spot as your bronzer. And it looked really, really good. Like she did one side on how she does it, like how she did it before, before this little hack of hers. Um, she started right here for the blush and like moved it up, but in the side to make her face look more like slender, I don't know. She like started in the middle and kind of just like went up and then like drug it down a little bit, went back up. I was like, oh, okay, okay, I'm gonna try that. Okay. Oh my gosh, I love this foundation. I want to go back. I want to go back to Sally's right now and get more collab makeup. I forgot to put powder on. I do that every time. It's not too late. It's like the least exciting part. <laughs> so I'm like, mm -mm. Okay. So for powder, and I think I got this from Sally's a while back. Yeah, I think I got this from Sally's a while back. It's J-Cat Beauty. It's Lux Pro Powder. It's a little banana powder movement. Um, I got this, yeah, a while back, like I said, but I just haven't used it yet. So, I don't know why. But... Okay, next we're gonna do blush. I got a blush from ColourPop. Um, I mean, I got it from Ulta, but it's ColourPop brand. A foundation brush has been like my go-to brush to use. Juicy Jazz was like, girl, use this foundation brush for your blush. It's like the perfect, it's the perfect thing to use. Since then, I've been loving it and this is the only brush that I've been using. Okay, next we have more collab. I got a liquid highlighter and it just looked so pretty. They had one lighter than this and one darker than this, but I felt like in the middle was gonna be perfect. 
so I got I got it. I got this. So I'm gonna put it on my hand and probably just use my finger. Don't look at my nails. Don't do it. Don't you do it. Okay. Oh, and it's in shade Better Off Bold. Oh, that's cute. That is cute. Okay. Did I say what the this one is? It's in Count Me In for the ColourPop blush. Okay, all right. Might be a little much, but. I feel like I, I kind of put a little too much. Okay, I definitely put way too much. Like a lot came out. A little bit goes a very long way. So don't, don't do what I did. <laughs> You don't need a lot. I really like this one and I feel like in the camera it looks really really good. One of my favorite highlighters is by Kylie Cosmetics. I I love it but in pictures and maybe when I make videos I'm not really sure now that I think about it. It looks really chalky. Like it looks like it doesn't look like I mean it looks glowy but it looks kind of chalky. You know what I mean? Like I kind of want my highlighters to be more natural and not look like I like I don't know do you know what I mean like you want it just to look super natural and just look like your skin is really glowy you got a little natural highlight going on but that one did not look natural it just looked like straight up like boom you know I don't know I don't know how to explain it I put way too much you wasteful you nasty I don't know like in my pictures we did like a little photo shoot or whatever um and some of them the highlight looked really good and then other ones it just looked super chalky and like I don't know how else to explain it other than that if that makes sense I feel like I really like this one this one looks really really natural it looks like wet like the other one just looked kind of dry and chalky to me I don't know I don't know I'll put I'll put a little picture of the specific like specifically what i'm talking about i'll put like a little picture over here so you can decide for yourself i mixed it with that one with the kylie cosmetics one and then one from soul soul body i think it's called it's like color color pops like sister brand or something it just i don't know i don't know i didn't end up really like liking it in the pictures that much yeah okay so i'm gonna put on some setting spray Um, I think I mentioned it, but this one is not new. It's by MAC Prep and Prime. It's coconut. It's not new, but I haven't used it in a long time. I've been pretty obsessed with my Anastasia one out of the blue, and that one's also coconut. But I've been, yeah, that's like the only one I've been using recently. So I haven't used this MAC one in a really, really long time. It smells really good. I think the coconut is a little bit stronger than the Anastasia one. Um, lips. I think I'm gonna use this one. I actually, I haven't used it in like an actual, like, um, I mean, like I tried it on, I did try it on, but that was in my BoxyCharm. I got this out of BoxyCharm. It's Alamar Cosmetics. And the last thing I got from them by a Alamar, Alamar is, um, I think it's a blush palette. And I liked it. I liked it a lot. So, and this, oops, whoopsie, smells so good. Okay, well, I'm pumped. I feel like this look really worked out. The eyeshadow palette was $3.50. Like, you can't beat that. Um, I really enjoyed the collab for both, for the highlighter and the foundation. The highlighter just looks so natural and, like, wet and just, like, you love a good, clean, wet highlighter. I love that. And then, what else? This lip gloss tastes fantastic. The bronzer, fantastic. I feel like it was like the perfect color for just like a perfect little boop. What else? What else? The blush. I liked it. Perfect shade for my skin tone, I feel like. Is that all? Oh, my mascara. I liked it. I mean, I feel like it's not something super, super special to where you're like, <gasps> like, this is the only mascara I'll ever use. Like, there was a lot of hype on, like, Instagram and YouTube over it. 
Um, I feel like it's pretty, it's pretty good, but it seems pretty regular for the expensive brand. So like, I don't really feel like it's like so many steps ahead of, um, I keep forgetting what it's called. Better than sex and like some benefit ones, some tart ones. Like, I don't know. I just didn't feel like it was as good as the hype was making it seem, but it was still good. It was just regular. It's regular good. <laughs> I don't know. I like it. It's cute. Ooh, 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 ooh. I feel good. Ooh. Okay. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, um, I think my favorite out of all of this was probably the foundation. Yeah. If it was the shade darker, the 3.5, like the matte was, that would have been the perfect ideal situation. But it's fine. I'm not that mad. Yeah, I think the foundation was my favorite, and I, I really do enjoy this highlighter, too. But anyway, guys, that's the end of this video. I know she was a long one. Sorry about that. <laughs> but that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Comment below to like see my next video, and then I'll see you guys there.